Will a woman's feelings for you fade if you cut off all communication after she breaks up with you? Stick around. We gonna bat iron on it. So the person that you with, man, them broke up with you, and you don't went on here and did what I told you to do. You went no communication. You cut off all phone calls, all texts, all uh, contacts on social media. You're not liking none of her pictures. You're not liking none of her posts. You're not commenting on none of that stuff. She's not contacting you. You're not contacting her. So you done done it. You did just like I told you. So all of a sudden, you starting to get a little anxiety. You're getting anxious, and you wonder, man, uh, ain't nobody contacting uh, uh, nobody. I'm not contacting her. Maybe she's moved on. Maybe her feelings for me really have faded. Maybe she no longer thinks about me. Let me tell you something, guys, and I keep saying this. No matter who does the breaking up, they're both going to go through a, a grieving period. Because y'all have gotten comfortable with each other. Y'all have integrated y'all lives together. Uh, y'all done things together for a long period of time. And y'all have an attachment built up with each other. So yes, although at first she's going to feel relieved to be away from you. She's going to be out there doing everything, man, having fun. Because this is what she's been dreaming about while she was in a relationship with you. Uh, these are all the things. You're looking at her friends, all the guys she can date, all the places she can be, be free. Uh, she ain't got to answer no question. So, yeah, she having a good old time. But that, that, that phase don't last that long in the breakup. It really don't last that long. It could be a couple of weeks, maybe a month, maybe two months. After that, it goes away. And then reality set in. Then they start wondering if you're seeing somebody, what you doing? Did they make a mistake? Because remember, human being is not wired to lose. We don't like to lose. And it's going to feel like a loss for that person. It's going to feel like a loss, no matter what, because y'all have built up in that attachment. She's going to start to feel like if it was a mistake, even if she know better and know she should move on, she's going to start to feel like it's a mistake. And she's always going to feel like, man, uh, even though I'm out here, can I go back? So she's wondering, can she go back? That's when that direct, indirect communication starts. That's when the phone calls about uh, the male uh, asking about uh, uh, things that's irrelevant, maybe the house, uh, maybe some news that she heard, all that stuff. To see, to just to get you to talk, just to try to get you a rise out of you, just to try to get you to move the conversation. Like, oh, I miss you. I want you back. Uh, remember what we used to do? How are you doing? All that stuff. She's trying to grab you and she's trying to pull you into it. But guys, don't fall for that. Don't fall for it. You, you will let her initiate everything. If she starts to say, I miss you, just say, yeah. I, I can see, I can see that, you know, uh, you know, we was together a long time. Don't, don't, you don't go into, oh, I miss you and all that bullshit. You just say, yeah, man, we was together a long time. You, you basically insinuate it, but you leave it for, uh, interpretation. And, uh, it, it could be, it could go either way. Whoever listening to it, they can interpret it one way and another person can interpret it another way. It confuses it. It makes, it makes that person think that, damn, maybe me breaking up with you wasn't a good idea. Maybe I should be, you know, wondering. Then they start to think, man, are, 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 are you seeing somebody? That That's what happens. You build up that anxiety in that person, too. So you're really uh, inflicting pain on them also. Because their feelings are still there, especially if they've been with you two, three, five, ten, fifteen 10, 15 years. Yeah. They got a lot, a lot of, because I'm going to tell you uh, one thing, guys. You might be in a relationship and always remember this. If I don't teach you nothing, I always remember this here. If you're in a relationship, you might be unhappy. Your feelings, you might can't get your feelings back or even halfway back to how it was in the beginning about that person. You might can't get up to that level no more. But let you let that person leave and see how low you will feel. It's almost like you're just with that person to feel normal. Because that's how addictions do. It doesn't 
shoot your uh, excitement level up or your anticipation level up. But if you take it away, it'll drop you way down real low. Like you don't even, man, to the, to, like feel, make you feel like you're the lowest thing on the earth. Make you don't even want to get out of bed in the morning. Make you don't want to eat. But, it, but when you're with that person, it doesn't give you that high that you used to get when y'all first got together. And it was all lubby-dubby. Uh, and, and, and that's the what they call the limerence period. And that doesn't last that long, guys. It doesn't last that long. See, women think the limerence period, the good car smell, is going to last the whole time you're in the marriage. That That's not going to last the whole time. It, it's going to get to the point where you feel like you're just with that person walking through life. There's nothing exciting about it. Not nothing exciting about it. Uh, and that's when they go to try to find that excitement. That's when they yearn for that 20% that they miss. And even though you're taking care of them, you are, uh, you're providing, you're doing everything you can. You're working your ass off. You're stressed. You feel like you're under pressure. And, and, and you're doing everything just to try to make sure that person uh, is, is satisfied. But, man, they're not satisfied. And no matter how much you do, they still ain't going to be satisfied. They want to feel that feeling again that they got at the beginning of the marriage. And they're never going to feel that from you. Never. Now, if that person decides to up and tell you that they want to get back together. Now, nah, bro, don't jump back into it. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Don't jump back into it. No. You uh you you take it, you you say, well, you know, if they all ask you out on a date, you don't ask out on no date. You don't ask to meet up. You let them do it. You basically beat around the bush on everything. As if, man, you glad that y'all broke up. You don't never say no, but you damn sure don't say yes either, unless they come out and ask you, say, man, would you like to get together uh on Saturday and, and have dinner? Uh, sure. Why not? Or you could say, uh, let me, let me check and see if I'm, uh, if, if I'm free Saturday and yeah, if I'm free, we can get together. And, 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 and once you get together and they say, would you like to, they try to start rekindling. You just say, well, let's just take our time and see, let's just see how things are and see, they're going to start to wonder, damn, he ain't trying to jump right back in with me. So, and, and after a while, they're going to start working to try to get back with you or to get you to that place. But even then, guys, you have to be very careful because once they get you back in, they go right back to where they were. And that's wanting to be back where they are now. And, and, and the thing that you must do, and it must be understood, if they do get back with you, you have to come up with a punishment. You have to come up with some kind of punishment. I don't know what that punishment going to be, but you got to be creative about that punishment. But I tell you right now, they feelings haven't faded for you, especially if it's been a week, two weeks, a month, two, three months, and y'all been together for five, six, seven years. Now nah, all their feelings ain't about to fade. You stay in that no contact. You give them what they want. But what you don't give them is you don't give them no, you don't give them the, uh, the bargaining. You don't start trying to bargain, cut deals. Uh, get on your knees and beg. You don't do none of that. Don't ask all this, man, why you do me like this? Oh, you so selfish. No, nah, brother, don't do that. Don't ever do that because that is counterproductive. The more you do that, the farther they're going to run away. The more you try to bargain, cut deals, the farther they're going to run. And they're going to look at you like a nuisance, like you're weak, like you can't handle the, uh, the breakup. Like you can't live life without them. And that's going to help them get through the phase that they're going through. Now, the best thing you can ever do. And I had to learn this the hard way. Cut their asses off completely. Let them be. Leave them alone. And let them suffer by themselves. Anyway. Until next time. Peace.